Hello, Dr. Keith Smith with you, Surgery Center of Oklahoma. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk just for a minute about all of the stories you've been hearing and reading about the EpiPen scandal. The company that makes this EpiPen enjoys a virtual monopoly. And so they are doing what monopolies do. They are taking advantage of the consumer. But these monopolies don't naturally exist. Naturally, uh, the there are competitors that enter the marketplace and offer value and the prices fall for everyone as the competition occurs. It is obviously difficult for competitors to enter this marketplace and I would argue that that is no accident. I would argue that manufacturers of drugs like EpiPen, and they're not alone, have actually purchased uh, from the government the favor of these monopolies, making it particularly difficult for competitors to enter the space. The real culp culprit then is behind the veil, and it is the federal government and all the officials and bureaucrats who sell these favors to companies like those that make EpiPen. EpiPen is not alone, but I would encourage you to look through their evil CEO, who by the way is very politically connected. I would encourage you to look past her and really at the source of the problem, which is the federal government, and they are selling these favors, making it very, very difficult in many cases for competitors to enter the space and enable this wild profit-seeking. What you will hear is that, indeed, pharmaceutical companies like this need to be more heavily regulated, when it's the regulators who actually cause this problem. I think that irony is perhaps not not so obvious for many of you, and I wanted to point this out. Competition does what competition always does in the pharmaceutical industry and in healthcare and everything else. It is wonderful, it's beautiful, and it's powerful to see newcomers, upstarts, underdogs enter the marketplace and bring value, which makes prices crash and quality soar, all to the benefit of the consumer. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.